Chapter 1196 But because the seats were full, she could only sit with Luna. Before the feast started, the old man stood up and said a word of thanks. When speaking of thanking the guests in the thank you speech, Lord Adair said as soon as he came up, Thank you very much, Master Anderson, for attending the birthday party of Lord Adair's granddaughter today. As soon as Lord Adair said this, the third young master of the Shaw family who was sitting in the main guest table, his expression turned black. What the hell? Is this Adair family's old man so ignorant of praise? He drove over to enjoy her granddaughter's birthday party, but he didn't put himself in the first place of thanks. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but glance at Alex at the same table. This kid looked plain and unremarkable, and he had no idea why the Adair family old man was so polite to him. After he thanked Alex, they thanked the third master of the Shaw family. Seeing that he was actually robbed of the first position by Alex's unknown origin, the third young master of the Shaw family felt angry. At this moment, the old man Adair finished his speech, so Faria went up to thank him. The dignified and majestic Faria, like Lord Adair, is the first to thank Alex when thanking guests. When they talked, their big talking eyes looked at Alex with affection, and said seriously. Thank you very much, Master Anderson, for taking the time to attend my birthday party in his busy schedule. I am flattered. After thanking Alex, Faria said again, in addition to thanking Master Anderson, Faria also thanks all the friends who are here today, thank you for your support. After speaking, Faria bowed to everyone. Vicky Shaw's nose is almost crooked. Although the old man Adair ranked himself second, he thanked him for his appreciation by naming him. But when he arrived at Faria, she didn't even mention his name, completely conflating himself with others, which really made him angry. At this time, he whispered to Lucas next to him, what is the origin of Alex? Lucas has always been very upset with Alex, but he did not dare to neglect him. At this time, seeing that the third young master of the Shaw family seemed to be dissatisfied with Alex, so he said in a smooth way, this Alex is our more famous live-in son-in-law in Oris Hill. At the same time, he is also a well-known feng shui master, who seems to know Japanese medicine, so people call him Master Anderson. After hearing this, the third young master of the Shaw family couldn't help but curl his lips. What kind of shit master, who knows some feng shui and can teach Japanese medicine, dare to call himself a master? This kind of parallel imports in Eastcliff has long been known to be killed. Lucas hurriedly said. What the third young master said is that our Oris Hill is a small place, but you don't think the place is small, but this temple is small and windy, and there are many kings in shallow water. Anyone who dares to call a true dragon in this pond. Calling a true dragon in vain, Vicky Shaw snorted coldly, raised his eyebrows and asked, Does this Alex claim to be a true dragon? Lucas said in a low voice, I don't know if he claims to be himself, but in the rivers and lakes of Oris Hill, he is called the real dragon master among others. The third young master of the Shaw family sneered, he is a real dragon on earth? My Vicky Shaw is also a dragon, and the dragon of the Shaw family in Eastcliff, I want to see today, who is the real dragon on earth? Lucas hurriedly slapped a flattering, if Alex really compares with you, it will be so much inferior, I am afraid that you will not even be able to compare with you. That's natural, the third young master of the Shaw family glanced at Alex with his nostrils in the sky, and sneered in his heart. The smelly hanging silk from a small place dared to steal my limelight. Today, the young master crossed the river. Let's get the operation done with you first, and let the old bastards in Oris Hill have eyes long, knowing who is the real dragon on earth, 